All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, guys? It is your boy, TKD123 here, back in here on Position Source, and we got some things to discuss here, okay? So if you've not been on Twitter, if you've not seen this whole thing, we're going to break it down here right now. This Horizon Forbidden West backtrack seemingly from Sony. It looks like we're not getting a paid PS5 upgrade. We'll get into all that, but before we get into that, if you enjoy the video and if you enjoy my content, make sure to leave a like on the video, as well as stay subscribed to PlayStation Source to keep up with the ladies and grace and playstation and all things good or bad about horizon forbidden west but we gotta take it all the way back do you guys remember last year when we first saw the ps5 we were streaming here on the channel i was with my boy christian my boy jack martin we were over here going crazy about the ps5 i had to go run to a GameStop to get my ps5 pre-order all that great stuff whatever but in that conference following that conference if you guys recall there was a blog post on playstation blog that detailed some things that were not explicitly said during that conference which goes as follows here once again link below in the description if you want to read this for yourself additionally we know that the ps4 community will transition to ps5 at different times and we're happy to announce ps4 versions of some of our exclusives marvel spider-man miles Morales, sackboy a big adventure and horizon forbidden west will also launch on ps4 while these three games were designed to take advantage of ps5 and its unique next-gen features like the ultra high-speed ssd and dosense controller ps4 owners will also be able to enjoy these experiences when they launch. The PS4 digital versions of launch games include a free upgrade on both consoles, while the PS4 disc version of these games include a free upgrade on the PS5 with Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive. So right there, I'm gonna read it just one more time for you guys. PS4 owners will be able to enjoy these experiences. Wait, no, sorry, wrong sentence. Here we go. Okay, here's what I really meant. Okay, to say it one more time. The PS4 digital versions of launch games include a free upgrade on both PS5 consoles. So that's what we got last year. Okay, so that was September 2020. You know what I'm saying? September 9th to be exact. Oh, no, sorry, no. September 16th to be exact, excuse me. And by the way, I forgot to mention, yes, there was a PS5 showcase that was announced today along with this whole news, and we will be covering that in a later video. But that is what we got last year, okay? So as far as last year, right, uh, Miles Morales, Horizon, and Sackboy were all getting PS4 digital upgrades to PS5, right? Horizon included. So there was no question about that when we saw the footage at City of Play and everything, and we got trailers and everything, etc. But then we get today. And today is where things get a little bit interesting here, okay? So uh, they detailed that, hey, you'll be able to pre-order Horizon Forbidden West. They have all these different additions and everything. But when you really dig into the minutia, when you really dig into the details of these additions, something interesting begins to unfold and unravel here especially here at the bottom once again link below in the description this is from the playstation blog they say here at the very bottom after they say about all these different additions for forbidden west quote for players looking to have access to both the ps4 and ps5 versions of horizon forbidden west please purchase the digital deluxe collectors or regal editions dual entitlement does not apply to the standard and special editions so what does that mean what do you mean by that right like that does not sound like a free upgrade to ps5 right my boys let's go into it. okay so i did you know uh you know me you know nice guy okay nice guy tkd right you know i'm here for the people right i made a little graph and posted it on twitter okay so so i i combed through everything that they said okay i combed through all of it i got all the additions laid out in one little graph here and this is what we came up with okay so you do get ps4 ps5 versions right so you do get both versions of the game if you purchase the digital deluxe 80 dollars so ten dollars more than the standard ps5 edition right that checks out uh and you also get the ps4 ps5 versions if you have the collector's edition and the regal editions which the collector's edition is 200 dollars and the regal edition is 260 dollars now keep those two things in mind okay we're gonna go back to that in just a second here okay so to be clear in the inverse effect you don't get the ps5 version 
Well, you don't technically get both versions, because I guess you, you know, like, if you buy the Digital Deluxe on PS5, I guess you do get the PS4 version at that point, too, so, not, you know, that's a pretty rare occurrence, but really, we're looking for PS4 to PS5, right? So, you don't get the PS5 version if you get the Standard Edition PS4 version, which is $60, uh, or 70 on PS5 if you're gonna do the PS5 Standard Edition, you, you don't get the PS4 version. You also don't get the PS5 version if you have the Special Edition on PS4, which is $70 and $80 on PS5 and everything, which, by the way, the Special Edition is only physical. Keep that in mind, okay? So, there is no way to get both versions physically unless you buy the Collector's Edition and the Regal Edition, which are, like I said before, $200 and $260 respectively. So when you really pull it all back, okay, when you really pull it all back, right, if you're someone on PS4 that likes to still buy their games physical, right, the only way for you to ensure that you have an upgrade path to the PS5 version when you when you inevitably get a PS5 is to purchase one of the collector's editions, the um uh yeah, the collector's edition for $200 or the regal edition for $260. Now, keep that in mind. I'm also seeing and and uh hearing that those with the you know uh steel bookcase and the collectors and the regal edition i don't think they actually come with a disc so you'll just be getting a digital voucher for the ps4 and ps5 SKUs at that point so really like can you really truly even get a a a <laughs> a physical version of this game with ps4 and ps5 so that's what i broke down I clearly hear this is insane okay so we go over a little bit more here and we really you know dig into the faq okay let's see what they have to say about the frequently asked questions here and uh, it comes very true that uh you know there is no upgrade path for the uh ps4 version to ps5 in spite of them saying last year that there would be a free upgrade from ps4 to ps5 they say here quote here on the faq can i upgrade my ps4 version to the ps5 version if you want to have access to both the PS4 and PS5 versions of Horizon Forbidden West, please purchase the Digital Deluxe, Collectors, or Regal Editions, like I said before. Dual Entitlement, which... <laughs> Why are we calling it dual entitlement, man? Like, why are we doing this? But dual entitlement does not apply to the standard and special editions of the game. Another one here, you know, another FAQ, which to make it just very, very, very clear and abundantly just obvious here. Can I play my PlayStation 4 version on a PS5 console? Yes, you can. So, you know, inevitably, if you have a PS4 right now and you get a PS5 later on and you purchase a PS4 version of Forbidden West, yes, of course, you'll be able to play it on PS5, but you won't get the PS5 version unless you purchase the Digital Deluxe, Collectors, or Regal editions, in spite of them saying last year that it would be a free upgrade from PS4 to PS5, okay? So, why did this happen, and what's going on, right? Obviously, um, I think this is definitely just, uh, a, you know, a little, a little, a little uh, dash of greed, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Sony thinks that, you know, they can double dip, right? But why do they feel that they can double dip, that, that they can backtrack? I think it all boils down to the original sentence that we had last year about Horizon Forbidden West being cross-gen. The PS4 digital versions of launch games include a free upgrade on both PS5 consoles, while the PS4 disc versions of these games include a free upgrade on the PS5 with Ultra HD Blu-ray disc. I'm gonna read that one more time and really emphasize one word here, okay? The PS4 digital versions of launch games include a free upgrade on both PS5 consoles. My boys, I think what we have here is that I don't think they are now considering Horizon Forbidden West a launch game on PS5. Thus, them removing the free... What the hell was that? Thus removing the, <laughs> the free upgrade from PS4 to PS5 with Horizon Forbidden West due to the delays. That's what I think is going on here, right? Like, I think now they just don't view Horizon as a launch game, which I mean... You know, removing the whole aspect of everything here and just looking at Horizon for Ben West, I mean, I wouldn't call it a launch game anymore. 
you know what i'm saying like it's 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 a part of like the launch like promotion right like the the like different launch promotional games right and like the early years of the ps5 of course but you know i don't view you know i view launch as the first six months personally right like everything after is not launch right like i would even include ratchet and clank even though that is kind of late as well but like i would even kind of include that as kind of a launch you know era uh game for the ps5 and so clearly here horizon definitely is not one now um and that's why i think they feel the need uh or like feel not need but like they 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 feel that they can do this now right like with horizon where they can now charge for the upgrades but this is way worse in my opinion because you got to get specific SKUs and everything and you got to make sure you know everything's all you know your 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 eyes dotted your t's crossed like it's insane so bottom line where are we at now where do i think that you know they should go from here what do i think they should do from here especially as well right so first and foremost i'm a ps5 owner y'all know that obviously right so this really does not affect me okay i'm gonna get the digital you know the uh, digital deluxe edition and get that cool legacy skin you know what i'm saying where it's like an aloy um you know bot rost inspired uh uh suit as well so that's really lit you know what i'm saying so I'm gonna get the digital deluxe edition and I'm gonna go by my day playing on PS5 having a fantastic time Okay, so I'm good, right? And I think that's the sentiment for a lot of PS5 owners out there where this doesn't this 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 does not affect them at all Right, but this does affect the PS4 crowd, right? Like there's still a lot of people that can't get a PS4 You know, I mean that can't get a PS5, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, there was a bit of I feel maybe like an ease of mind like oh, okay cool Like I'll be able to still experience and keep up with PlayStation first party on PS4 as I I try to battle the bots <laughs> to get a damn ps5 you know what i'm saying and i'll be able to you know take that game and bring it over to ps5 with all the bells and whistles and everything because it's a free upgrade because that's what they said last year and so now here with this you know i think you know if you have a ps4 i think you have the right to be um a little bit upset you know a little bit upset by this you know what i'm saying because uh now it's like you you know there's an extra fee that you were not told about and i feel especially bad for those that are on ps4 that eventually will go to ps5 but are primarily physical game purchasers because they as far as i'm aware have to get a 200 dollar edition to be able to get that and it won't even really come with a physical game at that point so like like that's that whole thing is crazy so here's what i think they should do okay here's what i think they should do because i do think that they will reply to this i do think that they will respond to this i do think that they i do think that they will amend this because i don't think that this will stand right like i, I think this will be very very similar uh to the spider-man remastered whole thing where uh that was a whole huge thing where there wasn't a really clear path to upgrade and then uh you know they made it so it was really clear to just pay 20 bucks to uh upgrade remastered from ps4 to ps5 i believe that's how that whole thing ended but here's what here's Here's what I think they should do. I think they should add this dual entitlement process. I think they should add that to the special edition copies of the game. I don't understand why the uh, you know physical crowd has to buy $200 uh, closure editions. I think that the dual entitlement PS4, PS5 SKUs should be added to the special edition SKUs of Horizon. And I think that would iron out a lot of problems that people are having, okay? And, and like at least make it feasible, okay? Or at least the other option is to just make it free, like you said it was. But, you know, there's that too. But uh, I feel like they're, they're definitely not going to backtrack on uh, making it free. I, I, I definitely doubt that, right? Uh, or another thing as well, just do what they did with Spider-Man Remastered. Just if you have a PS4 copy of Horizon Forbidden West that did not include the, uh, you know, dual entitlement thing, just charge them an extra 10 bucks when they go to PS5 and just call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, I think, is going to be the, you know, simple answer because I feel like Sony's definitely not going to backtrack on having users pay to upgrade from PS4 to PS5 anymore. I feel like that ship is gone. But at least just give people the option to just upgrade and just call it a day, bro. Like, it is wild to me that there's no upgrade path. Like, did y'all not learn from Spider-Man Remastered? Like, how 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 bad that went? And, like, this, this you know, didn't happen with, with any other game until now. Like, ugh. <sighs> like it's it, it's just wild to me that like they're still making these choices that are clearly going to not go well you know what i'm saying like, clear as day clear as day well like i could have seen this from a mile like no don't do this you know either stick to your word and keep the upgrade free right from ps4 to ps5 or 
just tack on a $10 charge at the minimum, at the least. Just give these PS4 users, when they come to PS5, a little incentive. You know what I'm saying? Just just, just, just give them a little care. What's the prop? Don't you want to sell PS5s? Isn't it such a great marketing thing to be like, yo, you can bring your games over from PS4 to PS5 for free when you buy a PS5. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I feel like that would be a great incentive. That would be a great incentive to get someone that's on PS4 to go over to PS5 and purchase a console, right? But I digress, guys. What do you think down below? What are your thoughts? Does this affect you? Does this not affect you? If you're on PS4, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below in that comment section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well as hit subscribe to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Down below, of course, find links to everything we talked about and, of course, our links to Twitter, Discord, and an anchor link where you can listen to Save Slot Podcast and all of our other long-form content like the Road 2 series as well. By the way, Road 2 Forbidden West will be a thing. Look out for that. And, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.